With this video, I want to show how to use a custom uh, op amp. We're going to do this with the LF347. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go and look at op amps. So there's lots of op amps, but there's no LF347. So we need to get an LF347 specific model. So the models that they use are part of the of SPICE. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we are going to look for an LF347 and we're looking for a SPICE model. So let's just Google the SPICE model. So we're going to grab this and so then this is a whole bunch of information on the LF347. So if we go control F and type in SPICE, let's see what they have for SPICE. So you see they have a simulation model. So we're going to download a simulation model. So here is the model file. And so here is all of the information that goes in. And so it is a sub-circuit that creates that model. So we are just going to copy all of this. We're going to go over to LT Spice. And then we're just going to do a spice directive. So edit spice directive, and then we're just going to paste all of that in there and throw that on the screen. So you see with this, there's going to be a sub circuit that's called an LF347. Um, and so with it, we need to find some structure for the 347 to put this into. So we're going to go back up here and go grab op amp. So now we need to grab an op amp. Now all of these op amps are going to be very specific models. You can't change those. So we're going to go over to the end and even these universal ones, you can't really change those. So we want to look for what's called this op amp two under LT Spice. And you see right here, it says operational amplifier symbol for use with sub circuits file. So we have a sub circuit file that we're going to use. So we're just going to go OK right here. And then right here where it says op amp 2, this is where we're going to come in and just change this to the LF347, which is the same name as this part right here. And now we have an LF347 that's using all of these. And that's how we create our own schematic for an LF347.